Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News for Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Stand up for your country. You know, it has been eight years since the media began its obsession with Donald Trump. Eight years. I was there in the beginning. I've known Trump for 30 years. He did the first interview with me after he announced his run for the presidency in 2016. And I have seen it devolve into what it is today. But the obsession is there. Now, Donald Trump makes the corporate media money. And they hate him personally. Those are the two factors that make it impossible for Donald Trump to be covered fairly. You either love him, Fox News doesn't love him as much as it once did, but they're pretty much pro-Trump. They make money being pro-Trump. So does Newsmax. Okay, It's estimated that 95% of viewers of conservative news like Donald Trump. If you go against Donald Trump, which I did on occasion when I was working at Fox, now management doesn't really want that. On the other side, the hate Trump legions, all three networks, CNN, they make money too by bashing him every single day. And it's easy to do. Okay, this is not hard analysis. So we either love him or we hate him. Okay, so now we have the latest hush money trial, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So Donald Trump, can I get a fair trial in New York City? I live here, and I don't know anyone here in New York who thinks Trump can get a fair trial, even the people who hate him. They all know the fix is in. How do we know the fix is in? Well, um, I explained it last night on News Nation. But I referred to, and I'm going to play the clip in a minute, a poll by the Associated Press, no friend of Trump. And the poll uh, asked two questions. Did Donald Trump do something illegal? 35%, a third of the American public says yes. 45% say no. Now, in that 45% saying no, there are some people who don't like Donald Trump. Okay? Now, that only adds up uh, to 80. The others don't know and don't care, 19%. But the majority of Americans know that this hush money thing is much bull, which it is. The second question was, Donald Trump, can he be treated fairly in New York? Okay, 31% yes, no, 44%. And again, the others, they don't care. Um, Now, why... Can't he be treated fairly? That is the question. And I referred to this poll on the Cuomo program last night. Roll the tape. The reason they are giving that opinion is because the first case, all right, civil case with that E. Jean Carroll, she's awarded $80 million. Any fair-minded person knows that's insane, and it could only happen in New York. And in the second case, the real estate transaction he, Trump, was fined almost $500 million. Everybody in the world knows that this is not justice, that this is New York vendetta. So they're applying those first two cases to this case. Now, if you study this case, it never would have been brought in probably only outside of California and perhaps D.C. No one would have brought it because the genesis of the case is a woman demanding money not to talk about a consensual alleged affair. Now, you can slap whatever adjective you want on demanding money for that. So if there is no crime, nothing. Now, I don't know what Donald Trump did or did not do. I'm not his lawyer. But the fact that he's got to sit there in the middle of a presidential campaign does not help the country. No, it doesn't help the country. It hurts the country in every way. So the judge in the case, as we went over yesterday, and it's beyond any doubt, there's no debate here. Mercan is a, uh, let's say, enthusiastic Democrat. And that's okay. I mean, you can't 
be disqualifying judges because they're a Republican or a Democrat or an independent. But Merkan's daughter is a Democratic activist who raises money bashing Trump. <laughs> That's his daughter. And Merkan should have said, I got to recuse myself. That's what a responsible jurist would have done. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. Should have recused himself. Then there is the venue. They're having a very difficult time getting a jury in New York City because most people hate Trump. Why didn't they move it to Long Island or Westchester or Dutchess counties upstate? It's easy, easy to do. Why didn't you do it? No answer. The, come on, you move the venue. Now, Trump's anger is justified, and they're trying to slap a gag on around him so he doesn't vent his anger. But I, I'd be worse. If this happened to me, I would be, I'd be worse. And he, he knows that this is uh, set up for him to have another ridiculous conviction. Okay. Now, the justice system beyond Trump is collapsing everywhere. And we all know that. How many reports do you have to have about violent criminals not being punished? How many times do you have to see cities like New York, Chicago, L.A., San Francisco, St. Louis, Baltimore, on and on and on and on being overrun by crime? The justice system has collapsed. Everybody knows that. The civil system, and I hope to God you never get sued, or, and even if you have to sue somebody yourself, you better have hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. Even child custody cases, divorce cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars. There are about 1.3 million attorneys in the USA. Most of them want to make money. Most of them bill you by the hour, and you have no idea what they're doing. Some of them are honest, some of them aren't. They can bill you for whatever they want. How do you know? That's the civil system. So, and it takes, in New York, where I am, years for anything to happen. Years. They got so many cases, they slow down, they don't work Fridays, they this, they that, motion this, motion that. The only way that this can stop is by tort reform by Congress. The British system is the judge has the authority to rule if you file a nuisance lawsuit that, and you lose, the judge says, this is bull. You got to pay all court costs, including the lawyer for the other party. That would make a dent in the civil corruption. I, and again, I really hope you never have to go to court because it is astonishingly corrupt. And I'm not, I'm not demonizing judges and lawyers per se across the board. I'm just saying the whole system is rotten. And any honest lawyer will tell you that. And it's got to stop because working people can't afford to litigate. And if you get sued, you're dead. I buy an umbrella insurance policy, pay thousands of dollars a year just in case something like this would ever happen. And even in that policy, my deductible is through the roof. Now, I'm a high profile guy. I need something like that. But boy, oh boy. OK, so let's get back to Trump. Um, Donald Trump and Hunter Biden, just those two individuals prove that the criminal and civil justice system in the United States of America is corrupt. That's it. Okay? Equal justice for all? Baloney. And that's the memo. And by the way, all of this stuff happening to Donald Trump, all of it, the E. Jean Carroll, the business uh, loans, this case, it's all going to be appealed, which will cost millions more OK, but that's what it's all about now. The appeal. Because the Trump lawyers are going to federal court saying his rights were violated, which they are being violated. OK, uh, the update on the trial today, there were seven juries, uh, jurors selected yesterday, Wednesday. Today's Thursday and a five. <laughs> they booted two. <laughs> and I don't even get into why it's not. It's just impossible to find Jurors who don't know about Trump and don't have feelings about Trump. There are 48 prospective jurors left. Can they get um, seven? Because you got to have 12 jurors, as you know, 12 angry men, that movie. Um, can they, I don't know if they can get them. Now, each side only has four challenges left. And then 
who appoints the uh, jurors? The judge. <laughs> Jeez, unbelievable. All right, and uh, the DA uh, Bragg, who's another guy who's, come on, says that Trump has violated the gag order. I think Trump wants Bragg or the judge to try to throw him in jail. <laughs> I think that's what Trump's going for. I could be wrong on that. Okay, so we're up to speed on the Trump trial. You got it. It is, I love my country, but this, this has got to stop. This is, has to, we don't, it's, it's the United States of injustice now. CNN, Abby Phillips. So a few months ago, uh, Ms. Phillips, who hosts a show on CNN, uh, ran a uh, totally dishonest segment that portrayed me and others as racist. And uh, we wrote a legal letter, cost me money, to CNN demanding a retraction. They would not. Phillips would not. And it was horrible. So uh, we have it on the website if you want to go through it. But it was basically what they did is they took something that I said out of context and they cut it down from about four minutes to eight seconds. It was horrible. And no honest journalist would have ever done that. So since that time, I've been watching Abby Phillips just out of curiosity. What kind of person could do that? I mean, I, I just don't even know. Um, so I've come to the conclusion that the woman is simply not competent to be in the journalistic profession. This is as simple as that. She's not competent. So last night, um, and she's a Trump hater, uh, Phillips. Here's what she said. Go. And tonight, tracing a Trump lie from outside the court to the friendly confines of Fox. My son has graduated from high school and it looks like the judge will not let me go through the graduation. That was the former president immediately after day one of his Manhattan trial lying about a decision that the judge had not made. He did it again on Truth Social, claiming that he's been, quote, prohibited from attending my son Barron's high school graduation. And almost as those words escaped the former president's lips, they went straight to the Fox airwaves. That means Donald Trump isn't even allowed to attend his son Barron's high school graduation. If he tries to go, the judge will throw him in jail for that, too. OK, so uh, on the graduation front, I don't know. I have no idea whether Trump can attend or not. Trump believes he is being ordered not to attend. Uh, who knows? But Phillips doesn't know either. She doesn't know. And she's a champ's lies. So I'm only bringing this to your attention because CNN is a worldwide operation. And the stuff that they're putting out there now is so infantile. And I'm not diminishing the seriousness of it by saying the word infantile. I'm just saying this is bull. All right. Now, Abby Phillips gets no ratings. Nobody watches her. Nobody cares about her. She's not going to be around believe me, for the long run. But, and, and yeah, uh, there's a little bit of uh, righteous uh, anger toward her by me. I'll admit it. I wouldn't be paying attention to her if she hadn't done that terrible thing. As you know, Mike Lindell has a passion to help you get the best sleep of your life. His famous Giza Dream Sheets are the best sheets you will ever sleep on. For a limited time, get a queen-size set. For $59.98. King size just $69.98. These are the lowest prices in my pillow's history. Mike and my pillow employees continue to be canceled by some big box stores and attacked by the media. They appreciate your great support during these times and want to thank you by giving you free shipping on your entire order today. So please go to mypillow.com or call 800. 800- 869-0298. Use promo code Bill. You get the famous Giza Dream Sheets at the lowest prices, so call 800-869-0298. Go to MyPillow.com, promo code Bill, to get free shipping today. Okay, let's go to the mail. We got Nancy Smith in West Monroe, Louisiana. My husband and I cannot understand why so many folks are supporting Palestine and Hamas against Israel especially those who are Jewish. Can you help us, O'Reilly? Yeah, I can. The far left sees Israel as a fascist country. It always has since 1949 when it was established. They don't care about the Holocaust. They don't care about 
uh, the Jews had to have a place to live in this world, they see Israel as a military dictatorship run by uh, a heinous man, Netanyahu, and it, and it doesn't matter who the leader is, they just don't like it, and that the Arabs and the Palestinians are, are persecuted. That's the genesis of this. And today, these people don't know anything. They don't know what difference between a Sunni and a Shia. They don't know what the Palestinians are. They don't know anything, these demonstrators. Eric Eisenhower, Dallas, Texas. Hey, Bill, a month ago, you said your t- intuition was telling you something big was going to happen between now and the November 4th, is the Iran attack on Israel a big thing? Not even close. It's a big event, but it's not an election-altering event. Uh, Paul Cranley, on the message board, if you are a premium or concierge member, you get to interact with everything on the message board. So it's another reason to sign up. Here's the dilemma, Bill. As the left does more and more incredible damage to the country, how will we ever become one nation again? It'll take unbelievable leadership to bring us together or a common threat. You know, 9-11 brought the country together. So that's what it would take. Credible leadership and or common threat. Uh, Patricia, President Trump, speaks the truth. He does not lie. He is America. Oh. President Trump exaggerates quite often. He has made many misstatements. He grasps the situation, I think, has a pretty good grasp of reality, but he uses hyperbola. There's a word of the day, huh? To uh, make his points sometimes. And he's not real interested in what is accurate. You know, he, he's going to say what he wants to say. So whether you, that's a lie or not, I, I don't really care. But And he's not American. He's a politician. And you like him or you don't. Tim Dorman's Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. If Biden doesn't debate Trump, Should we expect Trump to debate RFK? I don't think so. That wouldn't get Trump anywhere. Why would he debate RFK Jr.? What if RFK Jr. starts to attack him and it gets into a mud fest? What does Trump have to gain by that? I I wouldn't think he would, but anything possible. Scott, why does it seem like it's only the left that cancels people? How far back do you have to go to find a similar environment on the right? 1950s, the blacklist, the communist witch hunt. That was all conservatives. And fascinating time to read, killing Reagan. Ronald Reagan was up to here in that. Okay? Um, fascinating. But that's how far you have to go. Today, conservatives are not driving the cancel culture. That's for sure. The left is. Uh, Glenn Richardson, Baldwin, Missouri. I used to watch The O'Reilly Factor every evening. And once I found the No Spin News, I now watch that with regulation. I learn something every time I do. Well, that's what we're in business to, Glenn. I mean, we just don't give you the same old PAP, P-A-P. You know, we're advancing the stories. All right, why don't you go to BillOReilly.com store and get mom uh, and dad the mugs. Hey, we got Not Woke, my favorite mug. Not Woke. Uh, we'll get it to you uh, before mom's day, of course, before dad's day. You want to buy two, which I would be generous, you get Not Woke and Self-Reliance. So these are great mugs made in the USA. We're very proud of them. Good message. And then we got the bundle books, uh, Killing the Witches, Legends, Killers, Mob, Crazy Horse, 33% off that. Fabulous. And Confronting the Presence. Uh, If you uh, sign or re-up for premium membership, and that's a good gift for mom or dad, by the way premium or concierge membership. You get Killing the Presidents or any of my books free. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, it's a win, a big win across the board for everybody. Confronting the Presidents out September 10th. Where the day do not be mordant. M-O-R-D-A-N-T. Somebody said, why don't you use them in a sentence? I am. Do not be mordant. <laughs> it's 
So there it is. You know, I don't give you the uh, definition because I remember this in third grade. My, the nun said to me, if you look up the word, you'll never forget it. If I tell you what it means, you'll forget it. And you know, she was right. I think that was the only thing she was right about, but she was right about that. Look it up, Morden. Back with the final thought in a moment. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. All right, here's the final thought of the day. I was reading a story on Jeff Bezos, probably the richest man in the world. Guy's got everything, all right? You could, there's nothing he can't buy on the planet. And he runs around, and he does this, he owns the Washington Post, whatever he wants, he can buy. And he looks like a happy guy, he's smiling a lot, and got this girlfriend with him, and, you know, okay. So I said to myself, would I want to trade places with him? <laughs> no. It's not because I have anything against Jeff Bezos, I don't know, all right? But I, I would, and then I got to think, all right, I've been around for a while on this earth, and I've worked very, very hard. Uh, to succeed, and I have. And uh, when I started my broadcast career, and it'll be 50 years ago, in January 9, uh, 2025, be 50 years ago, I started in 1975, January, out of Boston U. I had no money, zero. I had to borrow money to put on a deposit on an apartment. And I had to write gag lines for Uncle Ted's ghoul school. And I, I've been through this. If you read A Bold Fresh Piece of Humanity, that's my bio. And I would do it all again. I'd correct the mistakes because I made far too many of them. But would I want an easier life? Would I want to change places? There used to be a comic book named Richie Rich, Rich Kid, you know, and I, I read the comic. No. And here's the reason. It's not that I'm so great. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm just like you. I mean, I'm just trying to do the right thing. I'm here for a reason. I believe that so fervently. I was put on this planet for a reason. All right? I was given talent. I can bloviate the Irish Blarney, and I can write. You know, I've never taken a writing class in my life, and I am the most successful nonfiction author of all time. <laughs> Come on. It was given to me, like my pal Billy Joel, he just was given musical talent, all right? That the mandate is develop it, and I did, okay? But I was put here for a reason. So if I wanted to be somebody else, I would be going against the natural order of why I'm here. That's reason number one, all right? Except that there is a reason why you, listening and watching me tonight, are on the planet. Because it's true. The atheists will tell you there's no reason, it's all random. That's bull. There's a reason why you're here. You got to figure out what the reason is. So if you want to be somebody else, then you're kind of throwing that reason right in the garbage can. So get back to Bezos. I don't really want a big yacht. I don't really want the Washington Post, even though I'd turn it around and make it into something great, which needs to be turned around. But I don't want to really have that stuff, all right? I don't want to have to go to the gym and have a private trainer eight times a week like he does. 
I don't want to do that. I've done enough sit-ups in my life. I don't need some guy coming in at $300 an hour telling me to do more, okay? I'm pleased that I was given talent, that I worked hard to develop it. I don't want to be anybody else, all right? How about you? You want to be somebody else? I would be fascinated to know who that person might be. Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. New column on Sunday about personal zones, comfort zones. Been thinking about this a lot. And then we'll see you again for broadcast on Monday. Sorting through your expense tracking, estimated payments, and all those tax deductions can be overwhelming. It might even lead to a failure to file and failure to pay penalties that pile up on your tax debt. The attorneys at Tax Network USA have been lifesavers for many. Their team has successfully saved clients over a billion dollars in tax debt. Whether you're in the hole for $10,000 or starting at a $10 million debt, they are ready to help you. The expert attorneys and tax professionals at Tax Network USA are equipped to secure the best settlement for you and help you resolve all tax cases. So please go to TNUSA.com slash bill, or you can call 1-800-245-6000. These tax debt relief programs are expected to change, so get to them now. Visit TNUSA.com slash bill, or call 800 245 Tell them O'Reilly sent you.